Hi, it's Michael here from the Bactio team and today I want to show you how to set up and get started with your Bactio Tower disinfection lamp. This lamp has been designed to be super easy to use, so setting it up is no problem at all. There are a few important safety precautions you need to be aware of because it uses UVC light. We have a whole video dedicated to safety, so you should definitely watch that too. In today's video we're going to show some safety basics, plus we'll go through how to unbox, position, set up and switch on your Bactio tower lamp. Right, so this is how the Bactio looks when you receive it all boxed up. Let's take a look inside. The very first thing that you'll notice as we open it up is the user manual. Now it's super important that anyone in your team who's going to be using or operating the Bactio read through this and is aware of the safety precautions inside. Okay, let's take a look inside. Okay, so here is your Bactio tower lamp. As you can see, it's basically ready to go as it is. There's just one small thing that you need to do, which is remove the cardboard cover from the light tube. Let me show you how to do that right now. There's a small plastic piece here. You just take that off, put that to one side, then take off the cardboard here and place the plastic back on top. And there you have it, you're unboxed and ready to start disinfecting. So first things first, you need to make sure the space you're going to disinfect is empty. None of your co-workers or colleagues should be in the room while it's being disinfected. This also applies to dogs if you have a pet friendly office or anything like aquariums if you keep fish in your office too. Next up, you need to think about any organic matter. So we're talking about pot plants, bowls of fruit, any raw food. All of these should be removed from the room. If it's difficult to remove them, then you can cover them with a thick cloth off, a towel is perfect for this. There's one final thing you might want to think about which is drawing the curtains or blinds in your room. There are a couple of reasons for this. First of all, to disinfect them. If they're folded up then the light won't get into those curtains or blinds and disinfect them properly. Secondly, you might sometimes notice that the Bactio switches on and off during disinfection. This is because it has a motion sensor inside and it's very sensitive. So if you position it close to a window you might notice the wind or a bird flying past might trigger the motion sensors and switch it off. The simple solution for this is to draw the curtains so that the motion sensor doesn't get triggered. Once you've prepared your space, the last thing to do is make sure you position the objects in it correctly so that they get properly disinfected by the lamp. The thing to remember is that objects you want to disinfect should be in direct line of sight of the lamp itself so they're fully exposed to the UVC rays. The Bacteria Tower disinfection lamp offers 360 degree coverage. That means the best place to put it in the room is right in the middle so that all areas of the room get equally covered. It has a five meter cord for that purpose so in most spaces that should be possible. If it's not possible, you can also position it in a corner of a room. Just be aware in that case, one side of the room is going to receive more of the UV rays than the other side. In this case, you might want to leave the lamp on for a little bit longer to ensure all areas of the room are sufficiently disinfected. Another important thing to be aware of is the lamp should never be positioned in direct sunlight when it's being used. Once you have positioned your lamp, check again that the objects you want to disinfect are in direct line of sight of the lamp. Any shaded areas will receive a smaller dose of the UV rays and this means they won't be as disinfected. Again, you can leave the lamp on for longer to ensure that these rays get more exposure. The best thing is to position all the objects so they're in direct line of sight. So your room is prepared, you position the bacteria correctly, now it's time to switch it on. So once you've plugged it in, the LED light will come on. That means that your bacteria is ready to go. Hold down the button for three seconds, you'll hear a beep and there it goes and the LED lights will come on. Once they've come on, you now need to select the correct setting for the room that you're in. On the outside of this dial, you'll see the large numbers and this room is about 40 square meters. So I'm gonna switch this round to the number 40 here. You'll also notice that there's a small number on the inside that shows the amount of time that the bacteria will run for. In this case, 16 minutes. Now. If you do want to run the Bactio for longer, that's not a problem. And as we said, in some cases, you might want to leave the disinfection process for longer to ensure that it's been effective. So I've chosen the correct setting. The space is prepared. Now I'm going to switch on the Bactio lamp and then leave the room afterwards. To switch it on, just press the button in again for one second, an orange light will start beeping and you'll hear that noise as well. That means the Bactio is ready to come on. After about 10 seconds, the lamp itself will switch on. So let's turn it on now and leave the room. So when the Bactio disinfection cycle is complete, the lamp will switch off. You'll hear a loud beep 
and you'll also see this green LED light show, which means the disinfection is finished. Now, you'll probably also notice a strong smell. Don't worry about this. The Bactio tower lamp does not emit ozone, unlike some other UVC lamps. That smell comes from the dust and the small particles that have been killed and destroyed during the disinfection process. So actually, if you smell that smell, it's a good sign that the space is safe and has been disaffected properly. A couple of quick points to remember about switching on the Bactio tower lamp. First of all, you don't need to rush out of the room. It has motion sensors, so it's going to detect if you're still in the room and it won't switch on. It only starts working once the room is empty and nobody is moving. Secondly, just like you would never look directly at the sun, Remember, don't directly look at the UV light once it's switched on. And also be aware that you shouldn't get your skin exposed to the UV rays. So that's it. We've covered all the main information for setting up and using your Bactio Tower disinfection lamp. Now, I know it's taken a few minutes to watch through this video, but actually in reality, it only takes a few seconds to set up and use the Bactio Tower lamp. Just remember the following steps. Firstly, prepare your space. Secondly, correctly position the Bactio. Thirdly, switch it on. And then once it's on, make sure you leave the room until the disinfection cycle is complete. If you do need more information, you can check out Bactio.com where you'll find our FAQs and you can download the user manual. We're also going to be releasing more videos. We'll create videos showing how UVC works and also how you can tell that the disinfection process has been effective. So look out for those. Thanks for watching.